Guys, we're going to be solving another question from the third chapter of the Merriam textbook in geomechanics, and we have this uniform 15 meter pole that has a mass of 150 kilogram. So uh, the beam is supported by smooth ends against the vertical wall. So we're talking about these two points A and B, and there is a vertical cable that is attached to this beam and here and the tension in that cable is T and we need to compute the reactions at these two point A and B which we know is smooth so we don't consider any friction at these two points. We have a uniform beam which means the center of mass would be exactly at the center of this so the weight would be somewhere in here. I'm trying to draw the free by diagram for only this beam. So we're going to have the tension in the cable, which will be upward because the tension, the cable by itself will be in tension. Cable can be only in tension. So since the cable is in tension, the force from the cable to the beam would be in the opposite direction, same amount based on the Newton's law. So that's why the tension is upward. And we're going to have two reactions at point A and B, which is going to be a normal force since there is no friction. So we don't consider any Y components for these reactions. We can call this A. And we're going to have the same story in the point B. This was A, this was point B. And that's pretty much everything for the free by diagram. We just have to find the weight in here, which would be mass times acceleration of gravity. And we know our G would be 9.81 meter per square second. So if you multiply that by the mass in kilogram, we're going to get the force unit in newtons so we are in equilibrium we have two equations sum of all forces in x equals zero sum of all forces in y equals zero and our last equation would be our moment equation about any points that we have and if we look at this we'll see that we have three unknowns a b and t and three equations so we should be able to find all of them so we're going to start with the moment equation about point a just call x and y in here and we can go either with A or uh, B, real doesn't matter. We're going to go counterclockwise positive as always. So we're going to have the moment of the tension, which is going to be counterclockwise. So positive. So plus T times the distance, or I should say the vertical distance to the line of action. So we need some information about the angles in here. So if we look at this right triangle in here, uh, we can see that the hypotenuse would be 15, the base of this right triangle is in 12, so we can find this side of this right triangle pretty easy here. So we just have to do the Pythagorean theorem, so that side, if we just call it x, our x would be the square root of 15 squared minus 12 squared, so let's just calculate this. So the square root of 15 squared minus 12 squared that's going to be 9. So if we want to find that vertical distance in here since we know so the distance that we have for t would be the vertical distance to the line of action which would be the if we look at this right triangle the red one we're going to have five times the cosine of this angle we can call it alpha and cosine of alpha if we look at the green angle would be the opposite it would be the adjacent 12 divided by 15 and we're going to have the moment of the weight which is clockwise so negative mass times acceleration of gravity mass was 150 so 150 times 9.81 and we're going to have the uh the distance from a to here which we know since we have a home uniform rod, it will be exactly at the middle. So we're going to have 12 divided by 2, which is 6. Or we can do the same thing. This We can look at this right triangle. And we know this side would be 15 divided by 2, which is 7.5. So 7.5 times, again, cosine of alpha, which is 12 over 15. And this is going to give us the 6 again, which is what we had in here. So real doesn't matter. But since we know that the G would be exactly at the center, we just can't, we can just divide 12 by 2. And the last thing would be the moment of the B. That one's also counterclockwise. So plus B times the vertical distance is exactly the X that we found. 9 equals 0. So we have two unknowns in here. We're going to go to our FX. 
our fx, we have a minus b equals zero. So a is actually equal to b. And if we just do some of all forces in y equals zero, we're going to have the t minus the rate 9.81 times 150 equals zero. And we can find t in here. Let's see what we get. 9.81 times 150. So 1471.5 newtons. So that's our t. If we just put our t in the moment equation, we should be able to find t. So we can simplify this. 40 minus this part, 1471.5 times 6 plus b times 9 is equal to 0 and our b would be 4 times 1471.5 times so we know t is 14.1471.5 minus 6 times 1471.5 divided by 9 and actually this will be negative this will be positive because we bring it in the other side of the equation so let's just calculate this and this will be basically if we factor 1471.5 be two times 1471.5 divided by two so times two divided by nine this is going to give us 327 newtons for b we know a and b is also the same value so 327 newton and the final answer for this question hope everything was clear let me know if you guys have any questions and you guys take care i'll see you in the next video have a good one